For those of you that normally follow this channel and watch my videos, you will have noticed that over the past few weeks I haven't really released anything. And there's a reason why it's mostly because I am up for a promotion at work and I have a 40 hour a week job, but I'm working longer hours at the minute. I still have a family to support. So my free time normally comes between the hours of about eight o'clock and one o'clock in the morning. So eight o'clock in the evening to one o'clock in the, in the morning. And that time at the moment, I have actually been spending on streaming for a few nights a week. And that just hasn't been helping. So at the moment, I have so much on my plate that I haven't been able to make videos. And unfortunately, something has to give. And I'm going to quit streaming for the foreseeable future. Now, that's very hard for me to say. I enjoy streaming. I like the engagement with viewers. I like being able to play with you guys. And I really do appreciate everyone that tuned in, especially my subscribers. Honestly, you showed such huge support for a small streamer. You know, I averaged between sort of 20 and 40 viewers normally. And that was just insane that so many of you came out in support of me. So I really did appreciate it. And I thank you all for, for tuning in. But there just isn't enough time in the day for me at the minute to be able to make videos and be a streamer. And like I said, something has to give. My health at the minute isn't the best. I just have a mouthful of ulcers. I feel like I'm constantly run down. I'm sleeping between sort of four and six hours a night. I've given up most of my exercise. I used to try and do like three days a week. I'm now lucky if I do one. And I'm pushing as hard as I can to spend as much time editing and streaming. But it just wasn't enough over the past few weeks. I started streaming more regularly, I think about three weeks ago. And that's when my YouTube content slowed down almost to a complete and utter halt. And I don't think it's a coincidence. I think streaming between eight and ten hours a week has just taken away my spare time that I had for editing. I just, I, I can't do it, man. Like it's not, it's not sustainable for me. I'd love to be able to do this in the future, obviously. It's slow and steady progress. If I ever make enough money from YouTube, absolutely, I will stream more frequently. But for now, it's going to be few and far between. If I ever go live, it'll be live for a couple of hours. And I'll probably just be doing keys with you guys. But it's if I get some extra time during the weeks. But honestly, I don't know when that's going to be. I cannot give a schedule and I can't play the game regularly enough on stream to, to engage with you guys on a constant basis. So... Keep an eye out if I do go live. I'd still love to, you know, engage with as many of you as possible and sort of give back to the community, like I said, by doing keys with you guys and hanging out. But it's just, it's not possible, unfortunately. So I apologize for that. So that's the drama for this week then. A bit of personal drama, although not real. It's not drama, really. It's just, it's an announcement more, I guess. But anyway, I've put it in this video because I feel like it's the most relevant content or place that I have to put it. So it's just ended up here. On this note, actually, something which I would like to do and I've been meaning to ask for a while, I'll probably put a community post out on this as well, but let me know in the comments what you think of this. I think I want to start another channel again, or maybe I'll just do it live streamed. Not entirely sure, but I want to get into just doing like a podcaster like This Week in World of Warcraft, where we do a 15 minute section on news and then we do a 15 minute section on drama. And within those two halves, I would just have someone else there, probably one of my brothers to talk things through and then I'd release that as its own little episode. And then I'll keep the vault separately. I don't know if you guys are that interested in it, but I could get a few gear. I've got like some geared characters that I could do vaults on, but it's never, I've never done any content with those characters. So I have like a demon hunter, for example, we've got monk, we've got shaman, we have rogue obviously as well. And I also want to level up a priest. So I could have sort of five characters. Do you want to see vault loot for five characters? Not sure. Just let me know in the comments whether that'd be interesting to you and then whether you'd be interested in seeing a sort of separate drama video or this week in World of Warcraft style sort of video. Um, and, I, you know, I could drop that on the channel. It's I already do the content. There's no extra content that I really have to do for that. I prep a few drama sort of posts in the week to go through. I then just have to collect a few Wowhead articles, the biggest sort of news for that week. And then I could do that separately anyway. So there's no real, there's no issue for me creating it. It's just reformatting and reshuffling where I actually put stuff. So if you're interested in that, let me know. Anyway, onto the main section of this then, the vaults. We have two weeks worth of vaults for you because we missed last week because we didn't have any time to edit. So I have two weeks worth for the Rogue and two weeks worth for the Shaman here. So we'll go through this quickly and let's see what we managed to get. On the rogue, then we managed to do two mythic bosses and we've also done eight plus 20. So we've got a pretty big vault. We'll see what we get here. 
we got the ring. <laughs> we got the ring, which is just insane. It's so, so good. There's a few things in there that are also upgrades. The headpiece, we've already got the cowl. In fact, none of those are upgrades. It's literally just the chest piece would be a few item levels. The ring is huge for us. We already have flaring cowl. We'll sim it, but I know that this is just going to be the best item. Yeah, okay, so we simmed it and it's like a 1k DPS upgrade, even on a dungeon slice. So it's definitely the worthwhile choice here. We'll take this and we'll go and have a look at the Shaman. We've only done one 18 key, I think, this week on the Shaman, so it's not going to be that great. Okay, that's a huge upgrade though. There's a few pieces. This is one of them, which is very low item level, so that's massive. It's not the best stat. Versatility is good. Mastery, not the best. I think we might be able to catalyst this though in a good stance i can't remember anyway basically that's a 20 item level upgrade by itself so a massive pull there on to the rogue again then in week two so this is the current week this is where we've just looted the previous week is obviously the week that we've missed i am really not sure what i want from here we're not raiding anymore we're not doing two raid bosses because we've already got the ring right so because we've got this ring i don't really need anything else i think it's just a weapon to be honest i want a dagger because this 415 offhand is the piece that's probably holding us back all right, this is pretty awful. It has to be these legs right back. We've already got Horn of Valor is just terrible. Yeah, there's no reason. It's just a worse version of our current cloak, right? I'd end up putting the catalyst and then it's the same thing. So it has to be these legs. Yeah, it'll be a six item level upgrade, which is decent. It's not huge, but it's okay. We get 24 dungeon as well. Let's just see what we get here. A vault. All right, that's not too bad. Vaults are okay. Especially fortified weeks, I feel like that's fine. We'll uh, we'll definitely be out of time that, hopefully. Anyway, let's go and have a look at the Shaman again and see what we get on week two. So I think I've only done a plus 16 this week. Again, it doesn't really matter, though, because there's so many things that I can get that would be upgrades. There's a few low white roll pieces that I still have. I mean, I could go and farm Valor. Okay, that's great. Again, it's Versa Mastery, so not the best. I really want Haste, Crit, or Versa. I may be able to put that into the Catalyst again, although I'm not entirely sure that might go to Haste Mastery, actually. I think I'd rather keep the Versa. It's still a massive item level upgrade anyway, so worthwhile taking there another nice upgrade and a 17 volt. Okay, so two volts. I don't know, I'll probably just keep doing 16s on the Shaman. I may eventually go back to plus 20s, we'll have to see. I might go and do uh, another series on this. I'm not going to say what, but I have got some things planned. Although I also might do that on Tank. Anyway, not entirely sure. The final announcement for this then is that we are going to be releasing our new series this Sunday. It was supposed to be last Sunday, but I missed it again just because of obviously the first part of this video. I haven't had time. So keep an eye out for that. I am incredibly happy with how that series has turned out. It's just amazing the progress that I've managed to make on Tank. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Make sure you keep an eye out for it anyway, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.